Thank you very much, Johnny. Kat, you've now gotten to see your rotation once through after Doug went last night. What have been your overall impressions of this rotation, each of them having gone once now? Well, they're all pretty good. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, I've been real. I've been very happy with the way they're throwing the ball. It's, you know, it's a uh, especially the first game after spring training. Uh, still, you, know, you not that you're trying to get the pitches up, but the first time out, uh, getting your feet wet. But I think they've all thrown the ball real well. What are the struggles that come with starting early in the season? Whether it's getting a feel for how your arm is, uh, getting a feel for your actual pitches, even after all your spring training starts. Is it is it difficult at the beginning of the regular season kind of getting into a flow? Uh, not really, but it's all, you know, it's always the first time out. Okay, it's like, here we go, this counts. So in spring training, you more you guys work on some things and, and take it a little easier and, and, you know, like I say, trying to get a little better feel on the breaking ball. But, you know, once the season starts, you're just out there and say, hey, you know, let's go. It's time to... Uh, all this stuff counts. It goes on your record. So the adrenaline's there. And, and um, other than, you know, other than that, it's 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 baseball as usual. Once the season starts, it's the first, like I said, first time out. You're excited and you're just ready to go. Max goes today, his second start in a Nationals uniform. You knew of him and his reputation before he signed with this organization. What have you learned about him from the beginning of spring training until now? Um the thing that's impressed me the most is a very cerebral guy, very smart, knows what he wants to do, knows the, knows the hitters well. He does his homework uh, before the game and also has a real good idea how he wants to go out there and, uh, and attack him. And, and very interesting uh, talking to him and, and seeing how he plans things out and then talking afterwards. So it's uh, there's a lot more to just a guy who's a stuffed guy that's going out there and, you know, throwing, you know, sitting there pitching 92, 93, and all of a sudden he knows he needs to step it up. And here you get a 98-mile-an-hour fastball. He, he just has a real good idea how to pitch and what he wants to do. He's incredibly intense on the mounds and at yeah. the ballpark on days that he pitches, very different than days that he doesn't pitch. How does that affect how you interact with him before a start and in a start? Well, you just know that, you know, I'll still talk to him and things like that because that, that's my job, but just how he approaches the game, uh, what he does, a lot of times some of the things he does, uh, leaving the bullpen and all that, a lot of times there's more talk with guys and, and uh, interaction. Uh, before the game relaxed and he, you know now that I understand this is what he wants to do it's just okay he, he'll toss me the ball and walk away and <laughs> you just leave him alone so it's really kind of funny he's, he's a little different but the guys uh, you know the guys the other starters appreciate it and they you know they'll uh, they'll tease him back uh, how he comes into the game and it's really kind of fun a lot of personalities on this staff oh, and you're yeah. getting the sense for that cat thanks for taking yeah. a couple minutes with us oh my pleasure thanks. Johnny we'll send it back to you